You see, Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro, and even CapCut have the same base for connecting or moving elements. So I will not only explain the keyframes today, but also show you some tutorials on how to make the elements you see right now. Let's do it. And let's do it. This type of animation is called motion graphics, and they all have something in common, the motion flow. And how do we control the motion flow? Exactly, with keyframes. Now, let me teach you how to animate these elements. Huh? Huh? I'll leave a link in the description where you can download them for free. The next step would be to give our background a bit of makeup. Drag this particles video above the background and adjust the opacity as I do. Then, decrease the saturation, exposure, and contrast. Now, import the elements and arrange them along the background to look like this. We will give the clouds and the moon a slight animation for the flow. That's pretty simple for the clouds. Go to the beginning of your elements and place a keyframe on the position. Then, move 15 to 20 frames forward and increase the X value to make it move to the right. Then, go another 15 frames forward and decrease the value back to the original position. The animation looks cool so far, but it ain't that smooth. So, press Alt plus K to open the variable speed animation. Now select the first two keyframes and click on preset curves. Choose Ease Out and do the same thing for the last two keyframes, but choose Ease In. Here is a quick explanation with some cool animation to understand what we did. You see, if you choose Ease in the object, start slowly and it gets faster through the end. Ease out is the opposite of it. It starts fast, but slows down at the end. Through these changes, the animation feels smoother and natural. Now, you can animate the second cloud by yourself. So there is a moon left to animate. For this animation, I would like to show you how you can make animations pop up. Go with your playhead around 30 frames forward and create a keyframe on scale. Then, go to the beginning of the element and decrease the value to 1. And voila, you got a zoom in effect, but let's be honest, it looks pretty shitty. So, to make it funnier, press Alt plus K again and select the free curve option for both keyframes. Now, you want to make this type of curve. In order to do that, you will need to pull a little bit on the X axis and then increase it slightly on the Y axis. Then, go to the first keyframe and pull it slightly on the X axis. You may want to readjust the position of the second keyframe for a natural outcome. Well done, my friend. Now, all we need is this line, which you can easily craft by yourself. Go and check my other tutorials to learn how to craft it. Slide over to mask and choose split. Go with the mask so far that it covers the line fully. Then, keyframe the position and rotation. Now, move 10 keyframes forward and drag the mask to reveal the line a bit. Then, repeat the process till you reveal the whole line. Now, as the clouds, we need to smooth it out. You already know the drill, you little keyframe master. So far, we have something like this. We only have our rocket left to get animated. And as you can think, this is easier than it looks. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the video, and then make a keyframe on position and rotation. Move 10 frames forward, and then follow the line you've animated before. Now the only thing you need to do is to repeat those steps till you finish the animation. Ah, and don't forget to ease the keyframes. Doing basic rotations in CapCut is quite easy. You just need to change the value of the rotation a bit, and then you've got it. Smooth it a bit, and you're done. I've already made a few videos explaining this type of animation in CapCut, so don't be shy and check them out after this video. I know an easier way to get it right and smoother. For this, we will also need a free app. I'm talking about DaVinci Resolve. So you now either import your element if you have one, or I can explain to you in less than 20 seconds how to craft one. After importing your background, head over to the Fusion page and type Control plus Spacebar. Now you've got this little menu. Search for Background. Then search for Ellipse. Go to Background and change the color to white. Then go to the Ellipse node and click on Solid and adjust the thickness. There you have it. 
If you want, you can also add some glow from the effect tab. Now make another one and connect it to the merge node. To be honest with you, you've already done the hard part. Nice. Animating this would be as easy as for you to like the video and subscribe. So you see this red line? Drag it to the beginning of the video. Click on the second Marge node and keyframe the position. Then go like 20 frames forward. Move the circle to the right as you see. Then go to the first Marge node and make a keyframe on angle. Move your playhead 10 to 20 frames forward and increase the value till you are in your original position again. So I speed up mine by playing with the spline form. Resize it and then select all keyframes. Press S on your keyboard and then just search for the angle keyframes. Now you can play with the keyframes as you like. You've already learned what the ease in and ease out do. You learned how to create and animate elements in DaVinci faster than 99%. So congrats. If you want more DaVinci tutorials, let me know. Well, I wish I could tell you more about colors, but I'm not an artist. And CapCut isn't either, because their color palette is awful. But as always, I've got your back. I've made a cool and smooth animation in CapCut just for you. All you'll need for this is a text layer and some skills. Write down a random word and choose your font and size as you prefer. Move your text to the left, then make a keyframe on color and on position. Move 10 frames forward and bring your text in the middle of the video and change its color. Now, cut the video right on the last keyframe. Type something else now. Then go another 10 keyframes forward and move the text to the right and change the color again. Well, to be honest, the animation looks pretty shitty. But let me show you a trick on how to make it cool. Just pull the first keyframe through the end on the x-axis and the second keyframe down on the y-axis. As I explained to you earlier on through this, we start slowly and get faster at the end. Now we'll do the exact opposite for the second text. We need a fast start and a slow finish. So you basically pull the first keyframe all the way up on the y-axis. The second keyframe gets a slight pull on the x-axis just for the smoothness. And you're done with this dope animation. Now you can replace the text with images or other elements and get some cool stuff. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content. Bye bye for now.